Hey everyone, and welcome to Orgasm. I'm Kristen, and this is episode 95. It is Sunday evening, December 15th, 2013, and Christmas is two weeks away. Yeah, two weeks, guys. I hope you're. I hope everyone's getting all their holiday knitting done because I know I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not partaking in that this year. No, I've learned the hard way. Uh, so <laughs> I'll leave that to you guys who are very ambitious and fast at knitting. So that said, I hope you're all having luck with that. And um, yeah, but speaking of holidays, yesterday Dennis and I threw a uh, holiday party here at our apartment. And we don't really throw parties too often, but I really do love throwing them. But it's a lot of work. And yeah, um, what did I make? I made cupcakes, red velvet cupcakes, and then I made chocolate chip cookies. And then I don't know if you caught wind of that the spinach pie pinwheel thing that's been going around on Pinterest, but I made that. And I'd definitely say it was a Pinterest win, <laughs> but I'll save that for the end of the episode. Um, but yeah, so we made all this food. We had hors d'oeuvres. And of course, out of every day of the year, it snowed. We got, we got real snow. Normally it just falls and then melts away, but no, 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 no. This stuck. I think we got about like three to four inches, maybe more last night. So that said, not everybody that I invited could come. <laughs> so all this work. And then, but no, we did get it. We did. Uh, we had about like maybe eight, eight to 10 people that showed up. So yeah, I mean, it was a very like, it was a small party, but it was great. We had a great time. Um, Kim from craft staff showed up, Maria from the subway Knits podcast showed up. Um, and we just had a really, really good time and I'm so glad that they were able to make it. Um, but yeah, it really, I don't know. Like I was kicking myself like, why snow? Why? Um, but yeah, it was still a really great time. Um, I'll talk more about it later at the end of the show, but that's what's been going on in my life lately. Uh, party planning and not so much knitting, but I do have knitting to talk about this week. So let's get on to what's off the needles because I have an FO. How often does that happen? It doesn't, but um, I know you're used to seeing title cards in between each segment, but I figured it takes a lot of time to edit. And I like to get the, I would love to get this, like, each episode up a lot faster and have it posted before Wednesday, Thursday, because I record on Sunday. So I'm just going to forego the title cards this week and see how that goes. Um, so I hope you guys are okay with that. I know it's not a mega part of the episode, of the podcast, a pivotal point, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, but yes, FOs. I finished my Raven's Nest shawl by, um, it's a pattern, um, oh, let me show it to you. It's done, it just has to be blocked. So this is pre-block, um, and the, the Raven's Nest shawl is a pattern by Judy Marples out of the Cascadia, um, Cascadia uh, digital pattern book from Cooperative Press. And I did a giveaway last week and Bangers and Mash uh, won the giveaway. So enjoy, yay. <laughs> Um, but yes, this is done, uh, and the yarn is Julie Spins, uh, and her MCN, uh, Fjord colorway, fingering weight, and uh, just lovely teals, browns, golds, I love it, so, I'm just gonna block it, I don't know if I should block it tonight, because I don't really have a blocking station, so maybe I'll just do it before I leave for work tomorrow, but, yeah, so, I love it. I, 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 it's such a great pattern. It went by so fast. Um, I think if I had more yarn, I probably would have um, knit another repeat round of it. And where did I, what did I do with that leftover? I don't know. Sorry, I'm searching. I had all this stuff set up so I could just reach for it and call it a day. But now it just decided to disappear. Um, Louise. All right. Well, I had about a ball about this much yarn left over. So I can probably, if I'm feeling extra ambitious, I can probably whip up a pair of baby socks for my boss. Um, if you recall, he, I think I mentioned, I was going to knit, I was going to knit a sweater, but it never played out. Um, and I was going to knit a pair of socks before, but that never played out either. So maybe if I'm feeling extra ambitious this week, I will whip up a little pair of baby socks for him to give uh, to his son for Christmas. So yay uh, I had it I had it no it's not I don't know it's somewhere yeah anyway I'm sorry I apologize but this is done and I'm loving it 
it's so squishy and it's the perfect size because I was I was needing a new shawl not that I needed one but I kind of wanted I like mixing things up throughout the week I have my um my greetings from Poang shawl that I wear all the time I have my um what's that shawl that I wear the the green one oh gosh I can't remember but I wore it to Rhinebeck. It was olive green. You've probably seen me wear it on the show before. But anyway. Yeah. So I've been switching on and off between that. So I'm glad to have a new shawl in the rotation. Um, so yeah. That's what's off the needles this week. Um, still on the needles. Let me see. What do I have? My... Bah, 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 bah. My York Mittens. These are a modified version of the York Mittens, the original one. It's a free pattern, uh, which I posted a link to in the show notes last week, but I'll post them again. Um, they're originally a flip top, but as I was knitting it, I was like, no, I just really want a, a regular, plain, simple, straightforward mitten. So this is the finished, uh, well, almost finished. I still have to knit the thumb. I'm saving that for last. Um, one mitten. And the yarn is uh, Cephalopod DK Traveler in Hobart, Indiana colorway which is this lovely color right here. Very rainbow, it's like a muted rainbow, basically. Um, but just lovely jewel tones. Totally out of my comfort zone, but I just love the way it's knitting up. Um, and here's the second mitten. I put, honestly, guys, I got very little uh, knitting done this past week. It's just been, I've been cleaning, I've been <laughs> coming home late from work, and I've just, had little time to knit this week but here's where I am I knit on it last weekend maybe a little bit over the week um let's see my loopy you stitch marker yay so having fun with that I should really put a dent in this maybe after the show I don't know but um that and let me see what else blah, blah, blah. oh here we go and living in my just a loo lighthouse bag that I love so much totally geeking out um is my vanilla sock I made very little progress on this as well but it's the second sock so I'm, I definitely don't have second sock syndrome on this yet I don't think I do but um this is my own hand dyed yarn uh camera is really blowing this out right now let's see yeah very like you know hot pinks bright reds, um, chestnut purple, just a really pretty colorway. Um, I love it. I love the way it's coming out. And here's the, uh, the finished, the first sock that's on the sock blocker. I actually have to get a second one of these. I'm actually going to put an order in after I'm done recording for a second sock blocker. I know it's not imperative to block your socks, but I feel like I never take photos of my socks or when I do, it, they never like line up correctly or I don't know how to present them the second sock because this is always on the sock block the one sock is always on the sock blocker and the other one's kind of like rolled up and I'm like I want to be able to photograph these nicely so I can put them on Ravelry because I've been really behind on that but anyway um I'm gonna order a second one so I can photograph them nicely <laughs> if that makes any sense um and I got this from the loopy you uh I believe they're 12 dollars for like a wooden just like a wooden wooden foot this is the medium because I have, my foot size is um, eight. I'm a size eight. And I, the medium is from like a size six to an eight. So this is my foot right here. <laughs> Matches perfectly. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm currently knitting at the moment. Um, yeah, no. So I'm trying to think what else. I should move on to spinning because that's all I'm working on. I know Vivian, my Vivian cardigan, I have it here. It's in sight. I have not forgotten about it. I will, it's a, it's a big project. I've put that much effort into it. I'm not letting it go quietly into the night. I cannot do that. Um, but yeah, so huh, spinning wise, I have not touched my Lendrum. I have not touched Tallulah. She's over there. Dennis moved her over there for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but he actually, like, I saw him moving it, he was trying to get into the closet before, and he, he pulled it by the mother, the mother, <laughs> the mother of all, and I'm like, don't pull it that way, I'm like, what are you doing, don't do that, I freaked out, but he's like, sorry, sorry, and he, like, pulled it, I'm like, yeah, okay, but anyway, 
I have not talked to Tallulah, but I have been spinning a little bit on my um, Jon Snow, my Gourmet Stash, uh, Fiber Tribbles, Jon Snow, and the Wall Duo. So here we go. Not that much progress on it, but I'm, I'm spinning on my, um, uh, ba -ba -ba, my Trindle. And it's spinning up very lovely. I love the way it's spinning up. Um, it's very smooth, it's soft, and I'm just having fun with it. And let me see if I can find the other color. I don't know, but see? Sorry. Did I do it again? Okay. Um, but these are what the fibery triples look like in in their triple-y shape, in their form. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty. I love Game of Thrones. I cannot wait to watch season three. I have not, I'm not all caught up yet. Um, I have to see if it's available on Netflix. Usually I get a notification, like when a see, uh, show that I really like, uh, or, you know, comes out on, uh, is available on Netflix, they'll send me a, uh, an email. I have not gotten an email, but I have not checked yet, so it might be available. I don't know. But, yeah, so that's what's going on with the Trindle right now. Um... Stash booty. Uh, yes, I've had several enhancements uh, regarding the stash. So let me get onto those. Um, this I actually saw on, I think Kim, I, like I follow a bunch of people on Etsy. If you know, like there's a whole, it's kind of like the Facebook of Etsy. You can follow your friends or whatever favorite things, favorite products that you like, you want. Um, and I follow Kim from Craft Stash on there and she liked Nungo. Uh, which is a f lovely, lovely um, UK-based uh, fiber hand dyer, Carter? I don't know, but yeah. This is my latest uh, purchase. How adorable, pretty is this? Oh my gosh. Um, speckled egg. It's um, 21 micron merino, tussa silk, silk noil, and I believe there's um, 2 plus 50 grams, so... I think it's four grams in here. I don't know. Two plus uh, there's a hundred grams in here. Two times fifty. Yes. Okay. And it comes with two, so I get two lovely, lovely, um, beautiful bats of the stuff. Um, and I saw it. I'm like, it's mine. It's mine. And it took a while. It actually took a while for it to ship. Um, not that you know, it took her a long time to ship it out, but. I think it, because I read on her website, like I was curious, I'm like, I have not received this yet. And then I'm like, you know, before I email her, let me like read the, the notes. And she said it may take a while because everything has to go through customs. And sure enough, the day I almost emailed her, I came home and it was waiting in front of my door. I'm like, yes, best Friday ever. <laughs> so I was very happy to find these. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get to this. I really don't because I, right now I'm up to my neck in fiber. Um, and I'm spinning a lot right now, so soon. I hope to get to it. I will get to it because it's so pretty. And I'm refraining with all my fiber of my being <laughs> not to touch it yet. So, yeah. The next stash enhancement that I have is, um, I actually ordered something from another crafty girl because I've been hearing about her on all these other podcasts, and I was like, oh, what's all the fuss about? And I figured, I Sure enough, sooner or later, I found out what the fuss was about because I could not help ordering a skein of... I couldn't I couldn't even wait to cake it up because I saw it and I'm like, I want to knit something with this. Um, this is... Let me see. Another crafty girl. It comes with a really cute tag. Um, let's see. Um, this is her strong sock, uh, fingering weight, which is... Um, 80% uh, superwash merino and 20% nylon, and you get 400 yards, and the colorway is mer uh, Mermaid Enchantress. So, very pretty colorway. Um, I wish I didn't kick it up yet, but I I'm definitely going to knit something with it after I'm done recording. Because um, I saw it, and I'm like, yes, I want to knit something with it right now. Um, so, I, it, it is going to be a pair of socks. And I definitely want to get on the Operation Sock Drawer bandwagon because I think my, well, I've been giving my socks a lot of love. I think I need to increase said um, sock drawer um, or the volume of said sock drawer. So, um, but yeah, it's like oranges, teals, very light, yellows. Um, it's just so pretty. But yeah, 
so that that's pretty much it as far as what's <laughs> um now living in my yarn fortress but anyway uh yeah so on to blather um which is a new segment because I figured I talk about recipes some weeks and I talk about other things other weeks so I'm just gonna congeal it all into a new segment called blather because that's pretty much what it is it's not knitting it's just talk about other stuff so yay um on Friday, I actually met up with Maria and Kim. We've been hanging out a lot lately, which I like. That's great. Um, but yeah, um, we went to uh, Julep, if you're familiar. They have, it's a nail polish line. Um, they had a pop-up shop in the city. So I'm after work, I met up with um, Kim and Maria, and we went to the pop-up shop, and we got to meet uh, Jane, the founder of the company, which is really cool. And they had wine. They had a nail polish bar. You could, like, test out all the nail polishes. And they had, like, all these crazy discounts and whatever. And um, I confess, I became a julep maven over the past two months. So I fell down that rabbit hole as well. And uh, while I was there, I bought a bunch of other stuff, but... Um, I bought two nail polishes. I think it was like two for one. I don't know, whatever. I just saw it and I was like, fine. <laughs> so I got one in Gabrielle, which is a lovely, like, let me see, like muted purple. I mean, how appropriate is that? Um, so there's that. And then what I'm wearing right now actually is, uh, Ciara, which is this really cool, um, metallic eggplant, I want to say. So it's, um, it has like blue, like a blue shimmer to it. So it's deep, dark purple, and then it's like a metallic -y blue highlight to it. I don't know if you can see it. Don't look at my cuticles. They're really gross. Um, yeah, so, and I did my nails yesterday, and they're already chipping. I've been just, yeah, again, tidying up the house. <laughs> Life is so hard. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that is what I got from the Julep pop-up shop um and that's pretty much it for blather uh because you asked uh the other new segment that I started um uh, which you know you guys can check out or leave a if you have a question about anything knitting related or podcast related what have you uh just go over on to the um the Ravelry uh Yarngasm group um the Yarngasm Ravelry group I should say I need sleep um <laughs> and just like leave any question that you have there and I may or may not address it on the next episode I'll try to address it um so <laughs> may or may not yeah anyway I need sleep um but yeah the the most recent question that was asked I'm gonna get it right um the most recent question was all that uh all that cake knit on Ravelry asks how do you store your yarn by weight color or fiber and can we see inside of your yarn fortress one day okay um, the method to my stashing or, you know, how I organize my stash, uh, it's not, I don't know, it's not too scientific at all. It's like, I just have one shelf dedicated to fingering weight since that's what I have most of. I just shove it all in there. Um, and then the other shelves get, uh, worsted weight and everything else. Uh, but the sub... Uh, categorization that I do is I group kind of like the fancy schmancy yarn um, and the hand dyes and the luxury yarns together uh, and I put the like workhorse you know average you know average joe yarn together so it's just you know to give it some kind of like separation like oh here's my coveted yarn and here's you know everything else um, and you know it I don't, it doesn't really, you know, I, I don't, I'm not too anal or, you know, OCD about stashing or organizing my stash, just so long as it's like, I know where, where everything is. Um, and I do have a separate little bag in the fortress, uh, that's just dedicated to knit for some reason. I don't know why I did this, but I have so much of it, I guess. I just put all my knit picks palette, um, it's just like a fingering weight, different colors in this basket because it, it, there it's great yarn for, uh, color work. And I, you know, occasionally do a lot of color work. Um, so yeah, it gets its own basket, I guess. Uh, and I have so many colors, so it, I guess it makes sense. Um, and the rest, it's like, I have another shelf that I keep all my knitting books on the other shelf at the top shelf and, um, some, you know, uh, spinning accessories. Um, so yeah, that 
that's pretty much it. And I will try and include a video because I can't really shift around my my setup here uh, to show you what's inside. But I will try to append a um, an iPhone video that I'll get with my iPhone and show you, you know, what it looks like. But if not, I will post a photo of it in the show notes so you can see. And I think I did post something on um, on Instagram a while ago, but I'll, I'll repost, you know. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for asking. And, um, yeah. So I guess a really short episode this week, guys. I apologize. It's just I have not had any time to get any knitting done this week. Um, as I mentioned, but, uh, that leaves more room for knitting this week. So that said, happy knitting everybody. And I will see you next time. Bye.